The myth of Sisyphus is a classical Greek myth that has been retold and interpreted by various philosophers and writers over the centuries. The most famous interpretation is by the French philosopher Albert Camus in his essay titled The Myth of Sisyphus, published in 1942. The myth of Sisyphus originates from Greek mythology, specifically from the works of the ancient Greek poet Homer, and later recounted by the historian and mythographer Hesiod. Sisyphus was a cunning and deceitful king of Corinth who was known for his cleverness and deceitful nature. According to the most well-known version of the myth, Sisyphus committed several crimes, including betraying the secrets of the gods and cheating death. In response to his actions, the gods devised a fitting punishment for Sisyphus. His punishment was to roll a boulder up a steep hill, only to have it roll back down each time he reached the top. Sisyphus was condemned to repeat this futile task for eternity. Albert Camus used the myth of Sisyphus as a metaphor for the human condition. In his essay, Camus explored the concept of the absurd, the idea that there is a fundamental conflict between the human desire for meaning and the apparent meaninglessness of the universe. Sisyphus, condemned to an eternal and seemingly meaningless task, became a symbol for the human struggle against the absurd. Camus argued that despite the apparent meaninglessness of life, individuals can find purpose and meaning through the act of rebellion against the absurd. In the case of Sisyphus, the act of pushing the boulder up the hill became a defiant and meaningful gesture. Camus famously concluded that one must imagine Sisyphus happy, to emphasize the idea that even in the face of a seemingly futile and absurd existence, humans can find meaning and happiness through their own choices and acts of rebellion. The myth of Sisyphus, as interpreted by Camus, has had a significant impact on existentialist philosophy and has resonated with individuals grappling with questions of meaning, purpose, and the human experience.